Greetings everybody, John Tar here. This is my channel, Wiki Game Guides, and today I want to go over some build strategies and give some build recommendations and starting strategies for South Park the Fracture Butthole. So starting class, I highly recommend using the Speedster. This double edge ability is fantastic and you will, should be using it for most of the game. Um, later on, after you've unlocked the ability to choose from every single available class, I highly recommend combining Double Edge with Shadow Swap and Quick Cut. And then the Full Force Fisting is a great uh, super ability as well. God, it's really hard to say these names uh, when I'm trying to be a little bit serious, but like all the names in this game are insane. So, uh, Shadow Swap makes your character go invisible for his next turn. And then combined with Double Edge, the new kid will be invisible for an extraordinarily long amount of time. Um, and then with the artifacts, go Glass Cannon. Do every single one that gives you more brawn than health more uh, critical strike damage than anything else. Ultimate recovery is also very nice as well for boss fights. Um, so I highly recommend using Quick Cut. Um, it does not do the most damage of any of these available skills, but um, it has zero cooldown and it's more effective versus bosses. Most bosses are not immune to bleed damage. Whereas uh, the Dragon Force Punch, skill has a two turn cooldown so combined with the other two skills that i have chosen if you use them all in one turn you actually will have zero abilities to use on your next turn and then also sweet scent is pretty good uh when there's a lot of ads but it's not it, it's got a two turn cooldown so it's not fantastic um so let's go into a fight i'm going to show you how this series of skills works so we got the combat advantage. Combat mode engaged. Freedom Power Coon friend, you're cool in my book, new kid. So, with the new kid, move out as far as you can because he's got very limited range with these abilities, right? So, move out as far as you can, use double edge, which then lets you move a second time. Is this new kid fully functional? And now I'm going to use quick cut on whichever enemy has the most health, which is this hobo here with the 900 health. And now I could use Quick Cut a second time, but instead I'm gonna use Shadow Swap because I'm gonna go invisible after I use it. Now, it's supposed to knock him back. I don't know why I didn't do that there. Anyway, so now the new kid is invisible until his next turn. So he's invisible and cannot be attacked even by bosses. There are no bosses in this game that I've seen or that I've noticed that actually have the ability to see invisible characters. Now I'm not talking about uh, bosses that have area of effect attacks. I'm just talking about like bosses cannot target the new kid or any kid when they're invisible. Uh, as for your teammate recommendations, I highly recommend using Wendy, especially for boss fights, uh, because her phone destroyer ability has insanely good range and the defense down debuff, which is effective against most bosses. Mo a lot of bosses are immune to quite a few different things. Most of them are not immune to bleed. Most of them are not immune to defense down. Most of them are immune to knockback and gross out and being on fire. So defense and bleed are your best uh, skills for this game. Mysterion, I switch him up with Butters every once in a while because Wait, Butters' is skill particular. to call no. um, some Mexican help is and call in an extra character is extremely powerful. And anything that uh, can divert attention away from your main characters is a very strong ability, like Tupperware's turret that I'm going to show you in a second here. I'm just going to use Mysterion's... No, I'm not paying attention. Just let those fail. I killed him anyway. Uh, so Tupperware's hot swap ability is fantastic, especially uh, with any... Uh, glass cannon builds. So if you're using Mysterion, it's great to combo with him on that. Um, but more importantly, the Tupper turret has 400 health, 
does damage by itself on every turn and has a huge amount of range. And it shoots immediately after uh, placing it. It lasts, I think, three or four turns as well, and it draws aggression from enemies. So it's like uh, the the Tupper turret and in um, Professor Chaos's ability to call in the Mexican or uh, Mexican minion. I'm sorry. Uh, they're both fantastic skills. So now um, the new kid, I can. So what I could do is save. A double edge for the next turn when I would have the ghosting ability again but instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get two attacks in right now and just end this fight so I'm gonna use double edge and then quick cut on this guy and then quick cut on this guy this was only going to end one way. And that's that's it. Like the new kid is so unbelievably effective with that combination of skills. He's just super deadly when you go full glass cannon and use those two skills. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, hope this video helped. And be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks. Game on.